How are you guys doing tonight? Great. Great. Right on. So we usually have that person that kind of inspires us or like teaches us something new. Um, I'm going to use my friend Dylan as an example on this one. He's really good at math, and I'm not so bad in myself. Like, obviously, 2 plus 2 is 5. Like, come on. <laughs> but he usually does his work on a whiteboard, and all I really have to say to it is, like, man, that's remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> he has been recently uh, talking about buying some Velcro shoes. I don't understand why, though. They seem like a total ripoff. <laughs> um, He's constantly been told to like put some meat on his bones from like coach and literally everyone else. So he decided to try you know a Wookiee steak and I asked him how it was and he said it was alright just a little chewy. <laughs> um, he tells me useful information all the time if it's like not a pun or anything, <laughs> like how you shouldn't kiss anyone on January first because you know it's going to be the first date. some of my addictions like he keeps telling me that I need to stop eating um, uh, lunch meat and I, I told him I was like I can't like quit cold turkey like come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's also worried about my dot to dot like puzzle addiction and I tell him all the time you know, I'm fine I know where to draw the line <laughs> uh, he reminds me a lot of my grandpa smart and friendly shout out to my grandpa because that's the only way you he hears. <laughs> <laughs> he would always tell me about things that would like happen to him. He told me at one time he saw a coke get crushed on the sidewalk. It was so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> He's always said him and his wife were happy for at least 20 years. And that's until they met. <laughs> My grandpa was actually on a Titanic when it sank. He kept yelling it was going to sink. Yeah, I'd throw him out of the theater. <laughs> they, they, my grandpa used to cut the grass a lot, you know, real handy man. And, but now he's long gone. <laughs> I still remember what my grandpa said to me before he kicked the bucket. He said, hey, you want to see how far I can kick this bucket? <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather died because the report said he had type A blood. Unfortunately, it was a typo. <laughs> My, My grandpa was basically another thought, uh, dad of me. When I was seven years old, I realized that Santa, the Tooth Fairy, and my dad all had the same handwriting. <laughs> Good thing none of those actually exist. Oh. <laughs> My dad is kind of like a boomerang. I just hope it comes back. Okay. In fact, I actually have a photo of my dad. So, this is a picture of him. <laughs> it's hard to tell the details, but it shows how much comedic skill I have. Thank you guys. Oh, oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. for Lowen, the podcasting face. I got in trouble last time in class because I didn't move the mic stand. So uh, now it's moved. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, my name is Shelby Taze, and like I said, I'm here for a class. Uh, this is my second time on stage, and let me tell you, it didn't really get any easier. So uh, <laughs> um, Tonight I'm going to talk about siblings. You know, they're fun. You didn't really ask for them, but you love them anyways. <laughs> Um, so I have plenty of siblings, but fun fact, none of my siblings are full siblings. I guess you could say my parents have a problem with staying in marriages. <laughs> so one of my older brothers is one of the smartest guys I might have ever met, but growing up he didn't have a lot of common sense. Um, so one time we were in the drive through at White Castle with my dad. This was right post-divorce, so you know, dad's 
early divorced dads gotta take their kids to White Castle because they have no other idea what to feed them. <laughs> so you heard through the window someone yelled, oh, the ice, break, the ice maker broke. And my um, brother turned to my dad and said, what's an ice maker make? <laughs> okay. Uh, now, growing up for the first few years, it was just me and my brother until my mom said that she was pregnant, and me and my brother got in a big argument about whether it was going to be a boy or a girl, because obviously I wanted a girl and he wanted a boy, and my mom said, you guys can't argue over this, we have no control over what it's going to be, and my brother said, well, if you have no control over what it's going to be, I hope it's a golden lab. <laughs> um, so then I had two little sisters and I babysat them a lot growing up and uh, one time I was driving one of my little sisters over to my dad's and my dad lives on Aspen Lane and uh, she looked at, I looked at her and I said ha 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 dad lives on Aspen Lane and her innocent little self looked at me and said ha 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 you said pen. <laughs> um, another time I was babysitting her and she came into the living room with a pickle in one hand and a dead fly in the other hand and she said, oh look, I killed this fly and I was like freaking out because she had fly guts on her hand and was eating and I was like, we need to go wash your hands like you shouldn't be eating with that pickle in your hand when you just killed a fly. She goes, I don't know what the problem is, I killed the fly with this pickle. <laughs> Alright, that's all I've got. <laughs> Keep it going for Shelby Day! What's going on everybody? How you doing tonight? Okay, so uh, first things first, uh, if this decides to work, uh, I should probably apologize to you guys. I was talking to my roommate and kind of went through my stuff with him, and he said, Gage, it's suicide to go up to a comedy club with only a couple jokes. And I said, I'm not really worried. I usually only last a minute anyways. So, so I was visiting my grandparents last weekend, and a typical uh, question when they have a college grandson, they say, Gage, how's college going? And I say, good. But typical grandparents, they want to know more. They want to know everything. So they said, uh, so what are some of your favorite memories that you made so far? And I thought real hard, and I said, well, I don't remember the good ones. Lo <laughs> <laughs> and behold, I wasn't able to stay there much longer. Um, so it's, uh, it's hard coming up with uh, clean comedy for a college student. Uh, I know Mr. Jimerson can attest to that. Uh, sometimes he will uh, tell the setup to a joke and ask if we want to guess the punchline. Uh, it's never a great idea. So he may say something like, uh, what's a foot long and slippery? A slipper. Thank God I did not answer that one in class. And uh, so a news story came on last night, and uh, supposedly a barber in Johnson County was arrested for being a drug dealer. It's actually kind of crazy. I've been going to him for years, and I never knew he was a barber. <laughs> and uh, so people have been giving me mixed uh, feelings about uh, my new haircut, decided to cut it into a mullet. And it really confuses me because uh, some of the most successful people in this nation's history had mullets. For example, has anyone seen Joe Dirt? I mean, Joe Dirt, you can't deny it. he was driven, he was focused, and he was very, very respectable. I'm, besides the whole I'm your sister part, I don't, that's not really me, but, uh, but thank you guys, I'm Gage Creech, that's my time. Here we go for Gage Creech! Alright guys, we're all What's up guys, how's it going? Good. Cool. You guys like movies? Yeah. yeah. Dope. <laughs> I'm one of those people who like really likes movies, but I have a lot of friends who like try and take them too seriously. Like, have you ever thought about how bad your favorite movie would be if it was actually realistic? <laughs> Let's talk about Batman, for example. Like, Batman didn't go to school. Could you imagine if he was just an idiot? <laughs> like, they shine the bat signal in the dark night, and he comes up and he's like, Commissioner, 
what's up? And he's like, well, Batman, we found the drugs. We just need to get the uh, district attorney on our side. He goes, Harvey Dent, can he be trusted? Well, he seems to be the only, you know, he turns his, turns his head to the side and Batman's like, sneaking away. <laughs> like, that's Batman's move. He just sneaks away like he asks a question. But, like, if he was really bad at it, he just, Harvey Dent, can he be trusted? What are you doing down there, Batman? <laughs> oh, just, just stretching. <laughs> yeah, well, he seems... Batman, I know you... Just hold it, just don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Okay, now you can... Gordon's just gotta be like, oh, weird Batman goes. <laughs> like, that's one thing, but could you imagine, like, Batman in a real situation? Like, he's gotta go save someone's life. He shows up and they're being held at gunpoint by the Riddler. Riddler gives him a riddle like, hey, all right, right here. If you aim to give us a shot, we'll riddle you. What are we? Oh man, that's a stumper. <laughs> Is it helicopters? <laughs> and then, you know, the victim's sitting there like, Batman, Batman, it's book. No, no, no hints, no hints, no hints. <laughs> Is it? <coughs> now, Batman, what makes you think that would be the answer? Well, because you don't worry about what she said. What makes you think it would be helicopters? Well, because you said, if you shoot, and I don't know. I'm just taking a shot in the dark here. All right, Batman, let's try multiple choice. A, bullets. Seems like a good option. No. What are B and C? There's no B and C, Batman. There's no B and C. It's a trick. I have to call Lucius. Lucius, it's me, Batman. There's a riddle. Okay, go ahead. If you shoot and aim, we'll riddle you. Is it helicopters? That's what I said. <laughs> like, no, Batman, it's bullets. I'm gonna, you're supposed to say bullets, and I'm going to shoot you. It's no fun if you give away the answer. <laughs> like, yeah, that's one thing. But, you know, Batman puts himself in a real situation when he doesn't remember what the Joker looks like. Walks into an interrogation room. Got Wiggles the Clown in there. Walks in. Boom! Slams his head on the table. Where are they? <laughs> Where's the money? <laughs> You're garbage. Who kills for money? No, I'm I'm Wiggles. Garbage is a different clown. <laughs> you know, Gordon's trying to get in the room, and he's locked it up with the do with the chair under the door, and he's beating him. He's like, I'm sorry, I got drunk at a kid's birthday party. <laughs> Where's the trigger? <laughs> and the Gordon finally breaks. And he's like, Batman, Batman, stop! That's not the joke. He's like. No, that's the Joker. No, that's Wiggles the Clown. Looks like the Joker to me. Batman, take a look at him, he's not Joker. To be honest, I kind of knew that. It was just really embarrassing to stop. <laughs> I gave him not the beating he deserved, but the one he needed. Thank you guys, that's my time, I'm Adam. Keep going for Adam, Yay. store with some coupons. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. <clears throat> okay, uh, is this going to be all for you, sir? Well, I actually have this coupon for the beef, man. I was hoping I could use it. You, you want a discount? Yeah. I got a great discount joke. You want to hear it? I guess so. Why does Jesus shop at discount stores? Why? Because he saves. <laughs> that was funny. Can I use this coupon? Yeah, let me check it out. 
<clears throat> so, uh, oh, shoot, this Cupin is actually... Wait, 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 I'm sorry, did you say Cupin? <laughs> yeah. No, it's Coupon. Uh, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I said. Okay, you not hear the difference? Say Q. Q. I'll say Pond. Pond. Put them together. Cupin. <laughs> uh, no, man, Coupon. Like, you... Right. Oh, whatever, man. Oh, can okay, I just yeah, it's, uh, it's ex actually expired. Okay. Can I see that? Yeah. Hey man, it's a day old. Can I use it? I got it for my kids. They're starving. You got kids? Yes, I do. <laughs> let me see it. Yeah, yeah it's expired. I can't let you. <laughs> <laughs> man, what am I supposed to do? Is there like somebody I can talk I mean, to about this? Yeah, or? unfortunately, this is um, this is set up with management. I can't really do anything about it. I'm can sorry. I talk to a manager? You want to talk to a manager? Yes, please. Can I talk to a manager? Like at the store? Like at the store? Like right now? Like right now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll go find a point. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, what's going on? Uh, uh no, dude, you're I'm the same guy. <laughs> I'm the manager of this here orifice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just talked to you, like, just now. Um, no, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Can, uh, can you debrief me on the situation, please? <laughs> uh, okay, well, like I was saying, man, I got this coupon. I mean, it's for the beef. I know it's a day old, but, like, it's, I was hoping you could cut a deal. It's for the beef. Do you, yeah. hear, do you want to hear a cow joke? You got a really good cow joke. Uh, I, I, sure, yeah. What, what do you call a, a cow with a twitch? What? Beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are you pointing at, man? The, the audience full of people that just like to <laughs> That's a conveyor belt. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, wait, so you want to... Yeah, know, so I just want to use this coupon, man. I know it's day old, but... Yeah, this coupon's expired. Wait, wait, you say coupon? Yeah. Yeah, earlier you were saying coupon. What changed? I'm not following. What's, what's going on? <laughs> you, you know what? Never mind, man. So I know it's a day old. Can you cut me a deal? It's for my kids. They're starving. I really need this. Everybody's got kids, buddy. Come on. Um, actually, uh, we're not in any place to be taken. Expired coupons. I'm sorry. Um, here you go. Is there somebody else I can talk to, man? Like, I, I think I might have an ID. Can I see your ID real quick? Maybe that'll uh, help. Yeah, sure. It's right here. Do a twirl real quick, eh? that might help. Yeah, I'm not buying this. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, dude, that's me right there. No, that's no, mine. I think that's a fake ID. What it's we do not with fake, fake IDs is we'll set it back here. I'll call the police. Um, they'll come investigate whether it's a fake ID or not. Um, I yeah. need that to drive home, man. You can't drive on a fake ID. That's committing two crimes in one. <laughs> you just said you have kids, man. You want to really make them not have a dad? Do you have a wife? No. Yeah, see? I'm, I'm helping you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to leave this back here. I'm sorry, but uh, unfortunately, we can't take your cue phone. I'm sorry. Can, can I talk to somebody above you, maybe, about this? Like, like a franchise owner? Do you want to talk to Oh, yeah, dude, franchise owner. You want me to like, set up an appointment for like next week? No, now, man. You want me to see if he's in? Yeah, see if he's in. <laughs> Franchise owner of this sort. Now? See if he's in now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll be right Okay, back. see you, see Hello? No, dude, you are the exact same guy, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm the franchise owner of this store. Uh, what, Let what me get this straight. This? You're the franchise owner, you're the manager, and you're the employee. It kind of feels like that, you know, being self-employed. I've got a lot of work to do all the time. So. <laughs> okay, well... Like I was saying, man, I got this coupon for beef, you know, it's half off. I know it's a day expired, but can you cut me a deal? You know, speaking of discounts, got a great discount joke, you want to hear it? <laughs> yes. So I was actually uh, thinking about setting up my own uh, discount amputation clinic. <laughs> I was going to call it uh, half off for half off. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Can I use the coupon now, man? Like... Turns out this coupon is actually expired. No, 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 no. <laughs> Did you say coupon? Mm -hmm. It's coupon. Right. <laughs> Anyways, can you cut me a deal on this, man? I got starving kids. Like, I really need this. Unfortunately, this is below my pay grade. I've hired really, really great managers. They'll, they'll be able to. You want to you know what can I talk to? For? Is this a different guy? Yeah, I've, I've got a great. You manager. got other managers. A great different manager. guy. Great manager. He'll help you. I guarantee it. Fits a different guy, man. I mean, I guess. He's gonna help you. I promise. You. What are you doing here? Howdy. 
partner. <laughs> How dare you show your face here? What can I help you with? I'm here to use this coupon. Can I see it? <laughs> Slow day, huh? Something in there. <laughs> you know, this coupon's actually expired. <laughs> I know, man, I know, but I need it for my kids. They're starving. It's a day old. Can you cut me a break here? You know, if, with how often you've been talking about kids and discounts, I would have thought you would be the type of person to, you know, you know try to get a discount on your son's circumcision or something. Like yeah, that. I did. It was a ripoff. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Cameron. I'm Shane. Keep it going for Cameron and Shane! Alright, alright, let's go! week, you probably remember me as Gibby. Um, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, every, everybody's looking at me. Looks kind of like I just ordered fajitas at Chili's. Um, so I have, I have a list of uh, funny stuff that I think about in my phone. Some questions. Um, just random stuff, really. And do you guys think that, like, Oompa Loompas during their job interview are just like, so we're supposed to go out there and dance around every time a kid dies? <laughs> like, come on, what kind of interview is that? Um, another good question that I, I think about almost daily, do you think God is jealous of Godzilla's name? <laughs> like, oh man, I, I wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> So, um, you know, Indiana is like number one state for uh, guns, I guess. Um, my mom asked me the other day why I carry a gun around the house. Um, I said, you know, the government's always watching us. And she laughed, I laughed, the Amazon Alexa laughed. <laughs> it was a good time. So is the Supreme Court just a regular court, but with sour cream and tomatoes? <laughs> you know, out there. Um, do you ever think, this one is something I ask myself a lot, do you ever think millennials are so lazy because they don't have a hit song about taking care of business? <laughs> I walked into Starbucks the other day, and um, I told the lady, I was like, you guys got a large mouse in the bathroom. And she was like, wait, what? And I'm like, there's a large mouse, mouse in the bathroom. Uh, you guys really should get someone to take care of that. She's like, could you repeat yourself? I was like, for God's sake, man, there's a venti rat in the bathroom. Can you just go to bed? <laughs> all right. That's all the time I have. All right. Keep it going for Carter Diggy! Bailey Ashley! fans on in here. I'm like freezing and it's snowing outside. Really? So I'm going to talk about my parents tonight. So my parents' marriage has been going down the hill. Anyone else's dad likes to scream at the TV like the TV can really hear them? Like he goes, run, run, make a foul, make a foul. Like, come on. So my mom walks in the other day. She goes, you know, one day the TV's actually going to talk back to you. My dad looks at him, looks at her, and says, why don't you go put on the Christmas present I bought you? Oh, you mean the earplugs that you bought me? I thought you only bought those for me because you snore like a chainsaw. <laughs> so my mom likes to make jokes about my dad. And she says things like, what's the difference between your father and a toolbox? At least the tools 
can help fix things. <laughs> or she'll say, say things like, what's the difference between your father and a speaker? At least a speaker can be turned off. <laughs> or she'll say things like, what's the difference between your father and Google? You only have to tell Google once. <laughs> so, of course, for payback, my dad likes to make jokes about my mom. And he'll say things like, what's the difference between your mom and a battery? At least a battery has a positive side and doesn't make your life so negative. <laughs> or he'll say things like, what's the difference between your mother and a guitar? At least I can pick on the guitar without it getting mad. And every single one of these things are true. God bless their marriage. That's all I have. Thank you. <laughs>
Next time you break check me, you're getting my coffee all over your back. <laughs> uh, the fourth one, this is a big one. Um, anybody that chews their food with their mouth open, like why? Nobody wants to see your fajita chimichanga with no tomatoes and extra onions, Linda. <laughs> okay, now I could go on and on, but this just gives you a glimpse of how much I tolerate the people around me and why I'd rather cuddle up with my dog watching Hannah Montana. <laughs> Impersonation. I still am. Please don't give me so much hate because, for one, I am still kind of working on it and it kind of sucks in, when I listen to it. So, like, if you're gonna laugh, don't laugh at like my voice. Just laugh at the stupid jokes I got. All right? Okay. All right. Well, guys, um, it's Kermit here, and um, you know. I was just watching TV when I was at home, you know, because, yeah, I was bored. And, you know, in the swamp, it kind of sucks. Because, for one, the, um, the people that are, um, like, famous, you know, they're a place with, like, frogs and toads. So, like, I have a favorite actor. His name is Adam Hopper from Star Wars. All right? That's a, that's a very famous show. Um, yeah, very famous show that um, plays in the swamp. Well, not a lot of people like it, um, yeah, but, yeah, you guys know that I'm with, uh, Miss Piggy, right? I imagine you all do, especially all the old people you guys have seen, the Muppets, um, the kids in the back, they probably wouldn't know, I, I imagine none of them know who I even am, so, I'll just give it to you guys, you guys may know this, but I don't have any kids, thank God, so, um, I'd like to tell you guys where we actually get them from, because, you know, I never go there. Never will I ever go there because Miss Piggy is such a pain to me and, you know, not good. Um, but where, where you would find froglings, that's what I call them, you'd find them at the spawn shop, you know? <laughs> All right. Um, okay. I went to a restaurant uh, the other day and... Uh, you know, I, with Miss Piggy, she's causing the commotion, you know, and I'm trying to get food, and um, I asked the waiter, I was like, waiter, waiter, do you have frog legs? Don't ask me why I asked, do you have frog legs? It's not cannibalism, all right? Um, and he says with this, oh, sorry. He says with this, no, I always walk this way. And I'm like, are you making fun of me? Are you making fun of my frog legs? They're, they're not, are you making fun of how um, skinny they are? How I have web feet, huh? I don't think that's quite funny. He was like, no, sir. I was like, okay, yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Um, I imagine that you guys know, at least, like I said, the old people in the, the crowd, <laughs> they know the song <laughs> Rainbow Connection, and a lot of the freaking college may not. So I'm going to sing, like, the first two lines, because I don't, I don't like singing this song. This song kind of... Irritated trying to irritated me trying to sing it because oh my god two minutes of talking like this kind of sucks <laughs> oh, Okay I don't have my banjo so don't judge me okay it's not even um it doesn't sound right either so I'm just gonna go for it Why are there so many songs about ra rainbow? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had to write this one. Um, so many songs about rainbows, and I just had to make my own. Um, and what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions. They're only illusions. I think I wrote this when I was um, on drugs, so... Yeah, uh, thank you guys. Give it all for Jason Kermit Brown! Everybody. Hi. How's everyone doing? Good. All right. So 
So, is anybody ever just like drawing and they mess it up and so they just kind of scribble it out? Um, my tattoo artist did that once. It's supposed to say, have a heart and have dad in it, but he messed up and put mom. So it's kind of embarrassing. Um, it's a bad fake tattoo. My girlfriend drew it on like two hours ago. <laughs> so one year, um, has anyone ever seen someone eat a Christmas ornament? <laughs> one year for Christmas, my grandpa, um, we're all just sitting there and he picks up this or Christmas ornament that looks like a cookie um, and he eats it and he looks at everybody and he says that was a really bad cookie <laughs> like grandpa that that's a Christmas ornament <laughs> okay. um. so has um what if like comedians Whenever they make a good joke and get some laughs, what if they like just celebrated like professional athletes do? You know? <laughs> like someone cracks a joke and gets a couple laughs, or like LeBron James. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> do the James Harden? <laughs> I had one more plan, but I forget what it was. <laughs> so that's all I got. Thank you, guys. Keep it going for Levi. It's strange. Every time I come here, that walk gets longer and longer. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little worried. I feel like I'm going to be the first guy bringing five people who are banned from the club. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I brought the students here last Sunday, and after we uh, did our set, we, next day on Monday, we went to class and we looked at the video, right? We're like the Colts. We looked at game field after, after a game. Didn't help us either. <laughs> uh, but, but people, I wore blue jeans and a nice blue sweatshirt and a blue tank top turtleneck. And I take top to that. And I, uh, I look like a freaking Smurf, right? I look, I look like a Smurf that ate a blue whale. Okay, so I decided, I, I got this. I'm gonna wear black. They say black is swimming. Is it swimming? Not. Nah. No, I, honestly, I've been poked on three continents. I mean, I'm on Africa. I'm in Uganda. Where I loved it, right? I'm traveling with a bunch of white guys. They're all scared. I'm just another black guy. Are they house say anything? They don't know. Right? I'm walking around. I'm in the market. Eight-year-old kid walked up to me, smiles at me. I smile at him. Pook. Yeah, I know. I'm fat. <laughs> Three thousand miles. Back, I got an eight-year-old telling me I'm fat. Okay. Right. So um, it, it, I was. I went to go see the movie. I don't know if any of you have seen it yet. Just Mercy. So I strongly recommend it. It's kind of. It's kind of a trip, but. Uh, it's interesting because in the movie they keep saying that it took place where the Killer Mockingbird, the person who wrote that, uh, lived and where the movie, uh, the Killer Mockingbird is set. And they keep saying, oh man, you need to go to the To Kill a Mockingbird Museum. Right? This is a black lawyer. He's trying to represent these black guys on death row. I'm like, do you realize the black guy in the Killer Mockingbird dies? <laughs> I, yeah, oh, it's a civil rights, it's a, you gotta go, it's a civil rights icon. I'm like, you realize the highlight of the movie, the, the main part of the movie is, yes, we know we're going to lose, but we're going to make a good speech about how long it is they stay killed. You know, you know, there's another comedian who talks about how kissing your sister is a tie, that, that's, that's like your level. I'm thinking, you lose, the guy dies, and he's the hero? You know, and this is so weird to me. But, you know, that's the thing I, I love about movies, that that if you're different, if you're black, you look at it and you go, what? You're white, you're like, it's great. I had, had a professor of mine, he's a math professor, he's clearly not a social scientist. He was like, I love the blind side. Didn't you? No. <laughs> Why not? Oh, okay, let me, let me tell you the plot again. Black guy is huge. He gets adopted by a white family. At one point, she has to tell him how to block. 
Just pretend it's your family, the quarterback's your mom, and you gotta protect them. No, we don't need you to tell us how to block. Okay, that's not, um, you know, oh, if we just uh, adopt them, we'll be fine. It, it's just interesting. The Help, I told the students, I hate the movie The Help. They were like, why? Like, why not just ask the maids what they think themselves? Why do you have to have some white person come talk to the maids and then tell us what black people think about white people? It's just so strange. You know where one of the most popular books for people saying about race in America is? Black Like Me. You know who wrote it? A white guy! 12 million black people in the United States, and they gotta have a white guy tell us? But you know, it, it's kind of interesting. This is why I told you that the other day, I said the reason that uh, Donald Trump won, they like people, white people like people with big egos. Think about it, all this literature that I've been going over, Tarzan. How many black babies have been lost in the jungle? You lose one white baby, becomes king of the jungle. <laughs> How many of you have seen Avatar? You like that movie, don't you? Admit it. What happens in that movie? White guy goes to another planet. He's, he's an awful white guy. He drinks. He can't walk. He becomes an alien. What happens then? He becomes the king of the avatars. He, he saves the aliens from the other white guys. Yeah, I, I see you lie. I got something for you here. How's that? <laughs> So, you know, um, I have some, some my, my father married a, uh, he remarried a younger woman. So I have aunts who are younger than me. They're gorgeous people, very nice. They like to go running in their sports bars. It's weird. Guys will actually drive up to them and say, you need a ride. Like, like they're running because they're trying to get somewhere. You need a ride. And not that, but how many young ladies do you know are going to say, oh, God, I was wondering how I was going to get home. Yeah, I'll get in a car with a complete stranger. You know, I was worried about them, so I bought them some pepper spray. That way, the next time someone stops them and say, you need a ride, you can say, no, are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Keep it going for the